Welcome to episode 101 of Top Rope Rowdy right here on the YouTube. I'm Mike Hogan. And I'm just a cop. And you see we've improved some more here, folks. And we're going to keep was a test improving. Run. And now we got 101. Oh, we're a couple sitting back. We need a big stogie and some, some drinks. Here we got our drinks. Some right cigars. Some cigars, yes. Well, yes. let's get started with some sad news. Again. Three more, weeks in a three row, weeks ladies in and gentlemen. Row, folks. First was Blackjack Mulligan. Yes. And this past time was Balls Mahoney. And this time we go from the old generation to the ECW generation to the Attitude Era. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, former WWE star China has passed away. That was, that, was, that was pretty shocking, too. 45 years old. I was 46 years old. No, she had not turned 46 yet. There was five, seen 45, I seen 47, I seen 47. On different you got to look at the date she was born, oh, the month she was born, yes. and then that'll tell you. Also the year, too, you know. Yes, it's right there. It's 1970. Yes. Yes. So, she would be 46 this year because it's 2016. But, from the way it looked, she had not reached that month yet to become 46. No. And it, so. And there's also, I read where her, her manager was, they were filming the documentary. A documentary, making. and they walked in, uh -huh. her already passed away. They yes. said they're, I don't know why, but they're talking about, we may use the audio of me coming in there but we won't use the footage of me seeing her. Don't use any of that. Yeah. Well, that trying, is disturbing. They're trying to sell DVDs. That's all that is now. So. Well, yeah, because now he doesn't have her giving him part of her paycheck. Yep. So now he needs some money. But, I mean, that's just sick. And then yeah. they were talking about how she was supposed to be going to meetings with Vivid Entertainment to do more pornos. Of course. So, what are they going to do? Like a best of on the pornos now just to get some more money out of her? Well, hey, the nerdies will put her in the Hall of Fame now. That's, you know what, honestly... Do you want me to get you started on that? Because I know you were pissed off about that. I was pissed off with the fact that they won't ever do it because, oh, well, my daughters, they may look on Oh, no, they may. Give a couple years, they may. If, if, if they go on the website or the internet and they look up who China is, they'll see porn out. That's what Triple H is talking about. I don't want my daughters to see all that. <laughs> who cares? You're not worried about what they did outside of wrestling. You're celebrating what they did in the wrestling... But I think it'll be in poor taste if they do it this next time. Of course. I think they What's need to the, wait would a few it, years. Would it surprise you? It would not surprise me. But I think they need to wait a few years. I think, honestly, here's the way I look at it. Don't put her in at all. And here's the reason I say that. Stay, stand your ground on it. Yeah. If When she was alive, you said that she, her, what she did after wrestling was too much mm -hmm. and that she could not go in the Hall of Fame because of what she did after yeah. wrestling. Then stand your ground. Don't be, oh, now we're going to say that she was a trailblazer. Stephanie McMahon was the first person to post something on Twitter. And then Triple H. And then WWE said stuff. Yes. If she, okay, she was a trailblazer. I get that. She was a pioneer in the wrestling. I get all that. But if you didn't care about her when she was alive after she left the WWE, and you didn't want to put her in there because of her choices after the WWE, then don't do it after she dies. That's true. Preach, brother, preach. And I will. I mean, that's true. I mean, all this crap they do, they, they don't want to touch her, don't want nothing, and then she dies, and you know, we're all talking great about her and everything like that, and she will probably go in there. She will. So, I mean, it's... Well, what can you say? I mean, it does, tell me it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. You're right. Stay yours. Stay. Hey, if you didn't want her in there, don't put her in there now. Don't change your opinion now no. all of a sudden. Yeah. But so, uh, on, uh, from that sad news uh, some, to some, some more breaking news... And but, surprising news that pretty much they're going to say, you know, anything... Can happen anytime. That's how they used to do. Anytime, <laughs> anywhere on the live event. I'm still shocked by this. I am just all right. <laughs> so, anytime, any place in WWE, they used to say, oh, anything could happen. Yes. They would have title changes on house shows. But well, now, they don't do that so much. No. But now, the new WWE NXT champion is now Samoa Joe, and he beat Finn Balor for the belt at a live event. Yes. That is huge news. That is huge news. And then I, I mean, it rocked Twitter. It rocked the internet. I mean, have you seen? Have you seen the um, the meme that they put out with Samoa Joe? Finn Balor's on the mat. Samoa Joe's got the belt. And he's standing. And then they show David Arquette from the scene in the um, <laughs> that ready to, rumble. ready to rumble. And at the bottom it says, "It wasn't even a pay per view." <laughs> Hilarious, okay. Good. Because that that that's good. there you go. You can go, hey, we got total matches here at this show. You may want to show up because a title could change hands. Very much so. 
Um, I love it. I'm glad. And then, you know what? That makes it different. Yeah, they say, well, that doesn't make it big enough for Samoa Joe. That makes him the only one in NXT history that's won a belt at a live event. Yeah, usually, usually when you see... So that's a first ever for him. Whenever you see a title change, it's a takeovers. Yes. So yeah. let's be different. Let's be different. I'm glad. And they've already doing triple threat matches. I thought it was a title match, but then they said the other, it was also a non-title match. But it was Samoa Joe versus Finn Balor versus Austin Aries. I'm sold. I am too. If they were around here. Can we have that? There. Can we have that on takeover? I would love to see it. And then they said, you know, they said that Finn Balor was telling everybody, and see, that, you uh, see you Monday, see you Monday, right before he got into the bus. Uh -huh. But at the next event, he claimed he was staying with NXT. He wasn't going anywhere. Right. right? Um, and then he did the whole too sweet side. <laughs> So could be, I mean, he's working the fans. Oh, he is working at one side. He's down learning down. from Jericho on that. He's one. at one side down, the other. Hell, he may wait to pay back. You know. I mean, I, I say don't rush it. I mean, we're, we're building on the whole AJ and and uh, Carl and Luke thing right now. Is it AJ with them? Or people's going? Is it going to be Roman Reigns or it could be I'm Finn saying. Balor? And, you know. This is. Yeah, they're saying Finn Balor is going to be the one behind the whole thing. That they're not really there to help AJ. And they're not help, there to help Roman. They're just going to destroy the whole matchup. And then Finn's going to be the master around behind the whole thing. Hey, okay. Whatever y'all want to do. You want to beat up AJ? Ride. You want to beat up Roman? <laughs> that would surprise people. They, they beat up AJ first. People go, they boo. Then they turn and tag Roman and they cheer. Exactly what would happen. They, exactly. And then we get, and then we get uh, <laughs> Finn coming out just to, at the at the entrance and they do do that and they do that and then the, the two the ring and the pay per view goes off. There you go. Oh, the special event the because they're not on pay per view. Even but sometimes you're off. paying fifty nine ninety five for pay what? So okay. Good you know, I was talking be. to one of our old cohorts. Uh, he um he's an Irishman. He's a ginger. And you know exactly. What oh I'm yes. About. I was talking to him and he said one of his buddies actually ordered WrestleMania on Charter. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why? Yeah, why pay fifty nine ninety five when you could have had this year's WrestleMania for free? Right. That's stupid. <sighs> Lord, education, people. You got to get educated. That's why all those videos were out online. Free WrestleMania. Hashtag free WrestleMania. Well, let's go to some more news. I mean, out of TNA wrestling. TNA wrestling news. Yes, it's uh two girls saying two bye days. bye to Miss America TNA. Yes. Uh -huh. Bye bye, Miss American Pie. They're exactly. trying, are they trying to get off before the ship sinks? It seems that way. I'm telling you because one of them was supposedly behind the scenes on the creative team, yeah. working with the ladies coming that made up. Made you feel comfortable with her on the writing team, didn't it? TNA was saved. It was. Yes. It was saved because of her. It was saved. Because I mean, but it just made no sense. But they were saying, well, she was on the creative team dealing with uh, costumes and characters. Oh, that's not a creative team member. It's not. This is. Uh, I, want, I want this to happen during this match. <laughs> Hello. Exactly. And that person would not be a someone for that. Okay. No. We're talking about Christy Hemme, who came from the um, Diva Search. Okay. Way back. Way back. The first Diva Search winner, Playboy, blah blah blah. Yeah. And she's always half naked, sitting there announcing people. So who's the new ring announcer? I guess Jerry Bora should do it now for every match. Because so. he used to be just the main event person. Because that makes it feel special. Yes. Um. So yes, Christy Hemi is now gone, and then the girlfriend of Bubba Ray Dudley, Velvet Sky, has now left the building. It was at the Hall of Fame too. Isn't that weird? Yes. So I can only guess where she would be at coming mm. soon. Because I would only assume that, you know, she's getting up there in age and women don't last near as long in the wrestling business as men do. Oh, right. So, she may want to end her career out as the Duchess of Dudleyville, since <laughs> Stacey Keebler's not around anymore. Uh, yeah, that would work. It would totally work, and I would enjoy what, what it. Would hurt my feelings, any? No, she'd come out in some camo. I'd be glad if she'd go. Half naked camo, which should be. No, they can't, they can't do that. Not as much. Not as we're much. We're PG, as, folks. We're PG. She can't be as half naked, but. Yeah, not partially yes. naked, yes. yes. Exactly. Um, so that's going to be interesting for TNA. Where does TNA go? They do have some new women there, uh, formerly known as Cherry Bomb. I think her name is now Allie or something like yes. that. She's now there. Spoiler because nobody watches anyway. And then um, Allison Kay, who's got her new name. 
Um, Cena. I was like, oh, when I read Cena, it, Cena. When I read it, I heard Cena. When I said it out loud, <laughs> I was like, oh, Gian Cena. Um, but yeah, so two new women, um, and uh, they're already in the main picture with Maria. Yeah, Gail Maria. Kim. Maria's the main one. She's not the main one. She doesn't even wrestle. She but, but she's controlling the uh, knockouts. Yes. How long before they come? How long before they come? Superstar women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But. Um, it looks like, I know this is a little sidetrack, but it goes along with that right there. Um, <laughs> it looks like, I'm just saying, that Maria will be wrestling very soon. Oh, yeah. I think it's leading to her and Gail Kim at Shlamiversary. Well, since somebody ever made the match already, uh, spoiler alert, sorry on that, but yeah, they made the match already. Really? Yes. Since see, EC3, since EC3 was in control, which I didn't see, I read and didn't see how he was in control. Yeah. It's because it's his aunt. Okay, I forgot that she's still in control for... <laughs> Yes, for right now she still owns the company. <laughs> Till yeah. the Harris boys come along. He was making matches, and Gail Kim wanted her at Slammiversary, and Gail Kim gonna get her. See, I didn't know that they already made the match, oh, yeah. but they made some. They've already made some pretty decent matches for Slammiversary, even though it probably won't be a pay per view. But I'm just saying, <laughs> for fifty nine, no, definitely not nineteen ninety five. Uh, yeah, they need to have it as low as possible yeah. to get as many people. On YouTube, right. Which I'm telling you, their YouTube channel, you have to pay for premium content on there, too. It's pretty crazy. What premium content? Josh Matthews? No, premium content as in their old pay-per-views, their old their old Wednesday pay-per-views, their weekly ones. They repost those and make you pay for them. Um, all their old pay-per-view, monthly pay-per-views, um, and then all the new pay-per-views, once they jump onto the YouTube, you have to pay for those. Well, as well. speaking of what you said, old stuff, remaking, redoing. This is true. The Rock. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Unfortunately, I'm smelling <laughs> what he's cooking. And I don't like it! Well, he, he, he makes money. People see money. On, when they see rock, they see money. The movie will probably do good. It will. But, okay, I will say this. As long as... As long as... The other movie that's supposed to be remade does not get remade. Because I do not want to see Jonah Hill be Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay? Hashtag movie review on hashtag top rope reality. I'm just saying. Because that's what the other remake they were I had not heard that. Oh, yes, sir. Bob Tellaby. Jonah yes. Hill is. No, no. They shouldn't remake Mrs. Doubtfire at all. Jumanji, I'm halfway okay with it. Yeah. Okay. They, I mean, the, 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 the stuff was good when they made the movie back then. Yes. Yeah, so Think like, about all the technology so, I have now to do stuff. Right. It's It'll actually look more real. No. But, no Jonah Hill is Mrs. Doubtfire. Nobody is Mrs. Doubtfire. Woo. You don't remake a classic like that. You keep them kind of. That's what they do now. If things are. Okay. No. Have you ever seen the movie Grease? You ever watched that movie? I watched Grease. Yes. Please tell me you didn't watch the Grease Live they did I on did television. I did not watch Grease Live. Okay. Hashtag movie review. Don't watch that crap. They, I, I didn't watch Grease too. Okay. So. Oh, that was horrible too. The only good thing was Michelle Viber was it. The I'm telling you, I just watched Grease Live. I know this is ha this hashtag just, side, we, we all off went, on the side here. Yes. But it goes along the Sidebar! It goes along with the same <laughs> thing. Quit remaking crap. Be original. Yes. Oh my gosh. They redid songs. They put in yeah, new songs. Yes. It's on Hulu. If I were to watch it, I could watch it on Hulu right now. But I have Freaking horrible. I got it on a red box and it was horrible. Oh, and I kept it for two days because I kept forgetting. <laughs> and it wasn't worth that much money. It wasn't worth $3. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it was horrible. Well, Grease is the word, so. It is the word. Bird is the word, too. Yes. But, I, I mean, I watch the Jumanji just because I like the original one, but if they ever remake Mrs. Doubtfire, I will not watch that. I will totally protest that. I don't blame you. Well, let's go ahead and finish up here. on the Before, we, before we get to talking about Payback, we're going to talk about WWE's Global Cruiserweight Series. We have two people that's already... Added to the list, which one the, was already on the list. Yes, and then taken off and then added back. <laughs> like but, Mark Henry, the Raw Rumble. Yes, off on, off on, off on. But the list that we talked about, yes, it is official. They, they don't have the qualifier; they're already in the tournament. Which I think is kind of stupid because one of them was like Ho Ho Lun. That's right. He should have to qualify because we don't know who he is. That's right. But uh, the guy, Ho -ho -lun. Zach Saber Jr. It looks like Saber Jr. Right? It's close enough as I'm yes. going to get. Sound. I mean, the way people talk about, he could be an odds-on favorite to win the tournament. So we need to watch. Keep on that name for sure. Watch him on YouTube, probably. And Jack Gallagher has advanced. He will be in the tournament. He's qualified for the tournament. Is so. Jack Swagger still in the company? They'll change his first name. Yes. Um, Even though he's tweeting that this is the end. No. <laughs> no. no. People 
no. Up, they? It's the last day of the tour. They, 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 they freaked out. They I was about, sitting there talking to that ginger guy uh -huh. about this. Yes. At the same time that, that it popped up online. Oh, he's leaving the WWE. It's his last day with WWE. Good. Okay. He could be TNA champion. Right. So then I looked at it, and then later, a little bit later on, I was like, I bet you they're reading too far into that. Yes, and then I re and then I read somebody else post it, and they're like, it's the last day of the tour. I'm like, I figured that's what it was. If you ask a lot of people, they got Jack Swagger out the door, they got Damian Sandow out the door. Which, both of them might be okay with leaving. They'd they probably do much better on the indie scene. And then come back. I mean, right now, it's it's the roster is going to be controlled by NXT guys, because Triple H has a lot to do with it. And Jack Swagger, Damian Sando, those type of people did not come Kevin from Dunn, that. your days are numbered. And I'm kind of glad <laughs> of that. You want Vince to stay around a whole lot longer. Because once Vince says, here, Hunter, here, Stephanie, I believe old pink slip be coming somebody's way. That's right. That's why you got a lot of people that are being trained up. you got the Adam Pierces. You've got um, Matt Bloom. You've got us. Uh, uh, Scott Armstrong, yeah, Billy Kidman, all being trained up on how to run a show, time out a show, mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff. Isn't that interesting? And Robbie Bookshine. That's true. Did you see that video of ZZ? With, oh, with hilarious. Robbie, Robbie and Matthew? Yes, hilarious. You should go. That's your show. They must, they must see something in ZZ. Yes, because, I mean, they put him on the Dagum, uh YouTube page showing off that. Why well, take a camera out there if, they weren't gonna, if they're not going to do something with him? So, very interesting. You should definitely go out and watch it on YouTube with ZZ hanging out with Robbie Brookside and Matt Bloom going to see alligators. And he's showing them how to do yeah, And then they get go. stuck and he has to get them out of the mud. Okay. It's, it's so so funny. And Robbie Brookside did not like the flies in his face. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the South for you. Hilarious. Well, let's go ahead and talk about payback card here because next it's week is payback and it is looking good. It is looking very good. We've got the... Uh, we know we got the Intercontinental Championship match. The Miz, the champion, defending against Cesaro. Will it be? Will it be hot potatoed? I don't think so. I don't think from Cesaro's Zack getting... Ryder to Miz to no, Cesaro. I don't think Cesaro's getting it. I think they're going to be a little um, screw job on this one. Well, that's why Maurice is going to be involved. That's right. If Maurice, that's... if Maurice wasn't there, I would see him lose. Yes. But I'm just saying, if, if Miz Maurice gets Maurice involved, wasn't there. if Maurice gets involved. Why, like I done told you, has Cesaro true. have some backup? They should have a rematch, and they should have some backup, and it be Natalia. You can go from there. Yeah. Oh my goodness! After the women's championship match, that hashtag she ain't winning. I mean, you could even push this a little farther because Extreme Rules, you could have <laughs> mixed tag Miz and Maurice versus Cesaro and Natalia, yes. and then at the next event, which I can't remember really think what it is. Nobody knows. I don't know. Money in the bank. Sure, no, Cesaro money in the bank. Yeah, you want him in there, but he ain't gonna win. But that kind of pushes it a little bit, so yeah. But still, because they're saying that it. That most of the time, the money in the bank favors a heel, so people are calling for Kevin Owens to win. Well, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. If Seth makes it back and wins it again, you know, he was just be glad whoever wins it just to take off Roman. They're not they're waiting for. This is very true. But yes, I can see the Miz retaining because of Maurice. And, yeah. But Cesaro teaming up with Natalia, there's history there because of Tyson Kidd, and it and he's already using the sharpshooter, so it mm -hmm. continues that hey, don't forget about my tag team partner type thing. Yeah. Because if he can still wrestle again, I can see them teaming back up again. Yeah. Uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. You talking about Kevin wanting to go? That's gonna be off. That's gonna be off the hook, man. And that could be that could go either way. Yeah. That could go either way. Yeah. Either way. Because Sammy, like I said, I'm surprised. I mean, they already are pushing Jericho because he beat Sammy the other day when they had their own SmackDown. Isn't it weird? Jericho's like, you know how they used to say, well, he just comes in to beat him to lose <laughs> everybody. Is. Now he's, he's beating everybody. He says he's going to bury everybody. He says he is, and he goes and does it. I'm okay with the storyline of him burying people because, I yes. mean, he knows what he's doing. He's not doing it no. in malicious fashion. No. But it works. I mean, I mean, I mean he, you can't have him lose to everybody. I mean, he beat AJ Styles at WrestleMania. People, oh, no. Even us, we were like, oh, come on. AJ should have got a WrestleMania win. But then AJ turns around and beats Jericho to become a number one contender for the world title. Right. So, so. so take it and leave it. I mean, you take a, uh, the lesser of the two evils. I, w I would lose at WrestleMania to become a number one contender. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Because you, you may become world heavyweight champion. You never know how what things do. That's very true. But I could see Sami Zayn winning that because Kevin Owens... He did uh, beat, uh, I was just watching this actually on the new NXT DVD, The Best of Matches. Definitely need to go out there and get that. 
um, DVD review. Um, <laughs> but uh, we used to do that. But anyway, you never know what's going to come back. We got another 100 to do, so here we go. <laughs> Amen, we got to have some content. 99, I mean, 99, we got another 99 to That's do. That's true. So. But I'm just saying that it, it would make sense to have Sami Zayn win because on NXT, Kevin Owens won their one and only match in NXT, basically, to win the belt. Right. Right off of it, pretty much. So it would make sense on the main roster for Sami to get that win. Plus, we need to establish Sami Zayn where Kevin Owens is already established on the main roster. Yes. So yeah. I could see I mean, Sami it, it doesn't win. hurt Owens to lose. Yeah. And Sami needs to win because of what Owens has done. Yes. So. Uh, this is a maybe. Probably will happen. Could be a pre-show match. I don't Could know. be a pre-show yeah. match. I would be okay with it being a pre-show match because uh, we're building the care for it. Yeah. Baron Corbin, who's been giving Do Dolph the end of days. He's like at three end of days already. So, but then this Baron Corbin versus Dolph. And, and Baron Corbin needs to win again. I know Dolph. Dolph's on his way out. Dolph needs to push talent. Dolph needs no, to but I can see it two different ways. I can see Baron Corbin getting the end of days again and getting a definitive win against him. Mm -hmm. But since we've had so many end of days yeah, happen over and again. over and over again, I could see it happen to where he goes for the end of days, Dolph slips out of it, he gets a surprise roll-up With victory. the zigzag? I, mean, I wouldn't even do a zigzag. Yeah. I would do a surprise roll-up victory. That's true. Slip out of it, surprise roll-up, yeah. and then that doesn't really make Baron Corbin look weak. He because could beat, he could beat him now. And then get in the end of days again anyway. Right. After he, after he loses, like, what crap, and get all pissed yeah. off, and then hit the end of days where Dolph wins, but he, he doesn't look the, like the strongest no. person. Right. And then you can continue that feud on you to can. Extreme Rules or something. So... Uh, we have the women's title match. Woman Charlotte yes. with her father, Rick Flair, in the corner, taking on Natalia with her uncle Brett, who hates everything for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with Brett's problem. He's insane. But I'm just saying, okay, if this other person that I'm about to talk about is on Total Divas and he um, is the father of Natalia, mm -hmm. Jim Neinhart, he's already done the rehab thing, he's on the up and up, he's done better. Huh? Have you seen him? He's a big dude, but he was always a big dude. He, he always think, had a father, big... father, yes, daughter, father, daughter, father. Thank yes. you. They always do the uncle. I guess thing. they figure Brett's the big. Brett's the bigger. Well, Brett is the bigger. He's name. the bigger name. I get that, but there's the bloodline there, and he's already on Total Divas. So it's a way to advertise Total Divas. Yeah. And you get the father-daughter situation out there. You know, he doesn't have to hit anybody. He doesn't have to get physically involved. Except with Flair. And Flair's 90, so you're not going to punch him too hard. So. Right. You know, he can just come over and barely hit him, and then boom, he's down. But it would give a feel-good moment for it, because you know Natalia's not going to win this match. Charlotte's going to continue on to yeah. at least SummerSlam and lose to Sasha Banks. I'm calling yes. it now. Hashtag Margaret Damp, okay? And I'm going to line and circle it, because, yeah, Sasha is going to be the next woman's champion. And if she's not, I'm protesting. You're going to protest. She's going to be like these other people who are protesting. Like protesting Target, I'm going to protest the E, <laughs> even though I'm going to end up watching it anyway. Yes. Just like those people are going to end up at Target anyway. That's true. Just don't go to the bathroom in Target. Just Sidebar. Go, go pee down the road. Here we want to pee. Yeah, pee in the aisle. I feel like I want to pee in the aisle. Hey, that it makes me more comfortable. I'm just going to pee out in front yes. of everybody. Who needs a bathroom? That's, That's going to be right. the next argument. Who needs a bathroom? Who needs a bathroom? Take, just... the, take the doors off. Off the stalls, off the bathroom. Exactly. Who cares? Gonna, yeah, whatever. We'll pee by the register over Somebody's here. walking by. Who cares? Somebody's walking by. <laughs> uh -huh. Who's driving a chair in the closet? Yes. You know, I mean, come on, people. Sidebar. Anyway, <laughs> next we have the WWE Tag Team Championship. Number one contenders turn Not the final. title match, because I've seen a lot of people put down the title match. How would it be a title match? Exactly. Thank the you. The champions aren't in it. Thank you. But I've seen that. The, the like, champions don't even need a match. You do not have to have New Day on the paper. You don't. You're going to be out ringside? No, and New Day rocks. Well, yeah, they New. be ringside. They rocks. But, I mean, it gives a pay-per-view where they don't have to fight. No. So, guess what? They're, they're rested up. But, yes, it will be the tournament finals of the VOD Villains, NXT guys, versus Enzo and Cass, NXT guys, so that going that, for the WWE, WWE Tag Team Championship. What's that say? More of Hunter's control there. Now let's before sidebar scroll sidebar. up. Sidebar scroll up. Scroll up. Wait. Okay. This way. Okay. Yeah. Um, after the first one. Okay. You okay. got Miz and Cesaro. Okay. Yes. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, NXT. Yeah. NXT. Yep. Baron Corbin, NXT. Yep. Charlotte, NXT. Yep. Vod Villains, NXT. Yep. Enzo Cass, NXT. Yep. Kalisto, NXT. Yep. Going ahead of myself. Dean Ambrose, NXT. Roman Reigns, NXT. They've taken over, baby! Yes. They have taken over. Okay? 
So back to the uh, predictions here. Okay. Um, I believe the five villains will win because they're the heels in the situation. Mm -hmm. The New Day is face. Finally, yeah. they're... And the Dudleys are pissed because they got beat by Enzo and Cass. Exactly. And they need to run out there and interfere. Mm -hmm. And then that takes to extreme rules. Do a tables match if you need to. Because um, that's their only one thing they can do. Um, but, yes. Well, what about this? What if we don't get no one? What if we get the Dudleys out there, New Day's out there, right. already. And they all we all fight. end up fighting everybody. And it's straight rules we get a fatal four way. Because uh, thank goodness we don't have a pay per view called Fatal Four Way anymore. Wait. <laughs> don't bring it back. It'll be on the network for nine. That's right. It'll be a network special. Another thing here, next match, if it's, I mean, if it maybe not even nothing at all. Because there's no talk about it. Well, yeah, because Ryback right pissed everybody off. We shouldn't have been on the British show, man. We're I better mean, than that. He beat Kalisto. It's Ryback, United, it's United States title match. Ryback. Versus, I mean, uh, Kalisto, Kalisto versus, versus Ryback, Ryback, yes. As he said, he beat him already in a title match, so that, that's what I was thinking. Maybe they're going to throw it in as a title match. This could be on the pre show again. Well, it, you're put it on the pre show, so you really get mad. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't put it on the pre show. He'd get really mad then. <laughs> and he loses again, of course. Because yeah. um, I think Kalisto could still run with it for a little bit longer. Um, that guy just making their mind. Is he, is, he, is he Lucha Dragon or is he United States Champion? Can't you got to pick one or the other. But they don't want to get rid of the team, I don't think. Well, they're going to draw the title then. Not, not, so I'd rather draw the title somebody other than Ryback. Honestly, what I'd like to see but. is Baron Corbin finish up with Dolph, and then Baron Corbin just go in and destroy Kalisto and win the title. Because Ryback keeps calling himself the big guy, but uh, Baron Corbin certainly is much bigger. Yeah. So it would be funny if I'm like, well, they like the bigger guy. And mm. they put Baron Corbin in to win the U.S. title. And it would be another NXT versus NXT match, and that would make me happy. And we're going to get a lot more of those when the year a goes lot on. So. more, because a lot of people are leaving. But if this happens, like I said, hopefully Kalisto wins, but it wouldn't surprise me if Ryback, Ryback doesn't, doesn't need it under plus. Title. He's pissing people off backstage by talking bad about where his placement was in the car. At least you're on the card. Yeah, a lot of people wasn't. At least you weren't in the Battle Royal. I mean, you could. I mean, they could have taken Tataka out, and you could have went in there. Yeah. But would it have mattered? No. Because do they still do they? I don't know. So do they say anything about Baron Corbin being the uh, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? Does he come out with the statue? No. He does. He comes out with the statue yeah. every time. Every time. He walks that it's thing all the way down. No, it's already out there. Thank you. Because the thing's huge. Yeah, it's already out there. So you can watch. You it don't like, want him to man the trip and fall. <laughs> like I got one. I want he's coming out next. There's a trophy out there. Right. <laughs> uh, next we have Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho, and I like that. Dean goes from losing to um, Brock Lesnar. Jericho goes from beating AJ Styles. I think this is the perfect fit. It is. And I think, and I love the Ambrose Asylum. I think that's hilarious. It is funny. Dean is not really one of those that, you know, he's a man of few words. Cardboard obviously. sign. Love it. A uh, little small rug. <laughs> of course. But and it, you got to have a plant. plant. Yeah, we need a plant for here. We need a plant for us. We do need a plant. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, I mean, it. It's totally out of his element because he's a man of few words. He goes right. in there and just fights. But I think it works with him and Jericho, and I think that Jericho winning at WrestleMania and Dean losing at WrestleMania, I think Dean needs this win. At yes. Payback. Yeah. Dean needs to win the match. Yeah. Jericho beating Sami Zayn, all that, he's, he's on a winning streak. They gave Dean a win against Hunter over there on the young European tour. Who, Dean won? Dean beat Hunter, yes. There you go. It was in a tag match, wasn't it? Or was that a separate one? There, there was, was a tag match. There was a tag match. Okay. Yeah, he did. Now, yeah. I was thinking, wow. That's good. Because, yeah, in the tag match, it was Dean and Sammy versus Owens and Hunter. Which I'd be pinching myself if I was Kevin Owens. I'd be like, that's yeah, a smart. No. But, uh, that's yeah, a yeah, but you're right. Match. Dean, so weird. Dean needs to win. Yeah, he does I, need to I, win. Jericho, but if Jericho wins, I would not be surprised after what happened at WrestleMania. Jericho you know. had WrestleMania. Jericho beat Sami Zayn. He lost in the Fatal 4 way against Jer uh, AJ, right? Yes. He took the pin for that, He right? took the pin for that. Okay, yeah. so that's one loss. But he's been getting some pretty good wins here. Yeah. And so I think that, you know, Dean hasn't really wrestled too much on the show. He he's hasn't. just been doing the assignment. Because after WrestleMania, he missed. He missed, like, I think he missed both Raw and SmackDown. Right, I mean, well, he's got a. You know, hey, I'm injured. Right. Even though know, they don't believe in all that no more. No. Um, but I think Dean definitely needs a Jericho getting these wins. I think that's the reason for those wins leading up to this pay-per-view is so that he'll look strong so that when Dean beats him, it won't be like, well, Jericho's there, Roddy. 
So, I mean, he's going into someone who he is beating a pretty good guys right now. Yes. So. And then we got the World Heavyweight Championship match. Roman Reigns. Woo! Taking on AJ Styles. Yay! Yay. And uh, the way everybody's talking, it's probably going to happen. Roman Reigns is going to be somebody, somebody else he can beat, you know. Well, of course. And, I mean, AJ's but putting want... him over on the microphone. He's a company guy. He knows what he's doing. He's looking at longevity because, I mean, you could just go out there and bomb the promos and, and they take you out of your contract. You can go back to TNA all you want. But AJ knows what he's doing. AJ knows how to put people over. AJ knows how to make people look good. Especially guys that are a little bit bigger than him. He's wrestled guys like Abyss and stuff like that. Yeah. And Roman is a bigger dude than he is. And I think that AJ, I mean, they have very different styles. But I think that um, Roman's going to play the whole ground game. He's got to ground AJ and yeah. AJ's got to keep flying. That type of thing. Yeah. The duck and dodge, duck and dodge, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a good dynamic. I'm not a huge fan of Roman Reigns, and I don't have a problem with Roman Reigns, but it's how they book him. Um, I mean, everybody's know. saying that he's running down our throat. Jake, Jake Roberts, Stone yeah. Cold. I mean, everybody. Jr. Everybody says the way they they do so, which is true. Right. Um, I think less is more, and they're not understanding that less is more. Right. Also, I think when you have someone that's getting booed. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a good, good guy. I'm just a guy. Yeah, okay. That's a heel thing to say anyway. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying, they might as well turn him heel, do the rock treatment to him, and I'm telling you, mm -hmm. if they do it the right way, they turn him heel like they did the rock with the nation domination, and then um, go around the nation into the uh, corporation. And then once he turned on Vince and the corporation, I mean, he was the biggest face you had ever seen right. for the longest time. If they do the same thing, I'm not saying the exact same way, but if they do something, he doesn't have to join the authority. He could join up with AJ Styles' best friends. Yeah. Um, and you put, put him with the Bullet Club guys mm -hmm. as a swerve. And I'm telling you, okay, it'll get him booed and by association will make Carl and Luke Heels, because right now they're being cheered, um, because it's just the, the cool heels, they're the cool guys, they're awesome, that type of thing. But I'm telling you, if you do it that way, Roman will get over as a heel. Wait, wait a minute, they attacked Roman though. Part of the plan. Part of the plan. You've you got to make yourself look innocent. Of course. You can, I mean, you come point on. the blame to the best friend. Hey, yeah, you got a tall match against me and now. I posted that you send line. Your, you send your boys after me? What you're doing. I actually posted that online, to, and, and somebody was like, "Why, if you were with them, would you get yourself attacked again?" <sighs> Two fool people. Hello. Exactly. You You've got to make it a trickery situation. You want to point your finger at AJ? Hey, it's AJ's buddies. He, he's just—they're just trying to do that to make him look. If they—if like, yeah. they only attack the Usos and never attack the Roman Roman Reigns, be like, "Oh, okay, it's just a tag team feud. Yes. It's just a tag team match." You know, and that makes it worse. Hey, so he sent them. He sent them after his own cousins. Right. Exactly. It's pretty despicable. Yes, I'm the leader of this family. But yes, I can see Roman Reigns winning this match. I've seen him winning either way, but uh, including the dynamic of Luke and Carl in there and possibly helping Roman win and beating AJ uh, would make the pay-per-view the talk of the town. It would ma After that main event is over with, it would make it the biggest talk of the time. People would be all over the internet talking about how Roman is with the Bullet Club guys. Yeah, and that's what I mean. That should end that way. It should. Roman in way. the middle. With all three of them standing up tall. And they can do. They can all do that. They want to. Exactly. Roman Reigns is stealing the gimmick. <laughs> they stole the gimmick from the NWO, yes. and half their gimmick was DX as well. So. <laughs> yes. Shut up. Well, that is it for part one. I know we rambled on a little bit. We do that. We did ramble on that one. We're going to go back to part two with the paper review, Starcade 91, 92, 93, and 94. Will Ric Flair keep his streak going here, folks? We shall see. Come on back to part two. I'm Mike Hogan. And I'm Justin Kyle. We'll see you in a few clicks.